you. Hi everyone, my name is Melissa Bender from BenderFitness.com. Today I am joined by special guest Nicole. She's been with us a few times before for other workouts, but we are thrilled to have her back today. Um, so if you guys have been following my website, you know that I am now about to be 36 weeks pregnant. Um, but this is a great workout whether you're pregnant, not pregnant. Obviously, if you're pregnant, only work out if your doctor has already approved you to do so. And listen to your body. If anything does not feel right, stop. Just because something is right for me in my pregnancy doesn't mean it's okay for you, so you have to listen to your body. And that goes pregnant or not, actually. So, we are going to get started. All you need for today's workout is a dumbbell, or two dumbbells, or a kettlebell, whatever you have, something to add a little bit of weight, and a bench or chair. Okay, guys? So we are going to grab our dumbbells or kettlebells to start with a Romanian deadlift. We are aiming for between 10 to 20 reps per exercise. So again, choose the amount that is right for you. The full breakdown with intermediate or level one, level two, and level three repetitions will be on the website. So check it out there. So Romanian deadlift, we're gonna start with core stays engaged, knees can slightly bend, focus is on keeping your back flat throughout the entire exercise. So that is the number one most important thing. Arms extend down, we're going to drop the weight and squeeze through the heels and glutes to lift. That's one, two, three, core stays engaged, four, five, push those hips backwards, six, and then they come forward when you lift, seven, eight, nine, ten, if you're level one, stop here and take a break. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, level two can rest, 17, I forgot to count, <laughs> 18, 19, 20. Okay, so on to the next exercise. For this one, we're gonna use one weight. It is a bend over row. So you can see Nicole and I are gonna position slightly differently because she's using a chair. I'm using a bench. Main objective again is flat back, core engaged. So we're gonna start with our left hands this time. Weight is extended. And then we're going to lift like you're starting a lawnmower. Elbow to the ceiling, weight to the outside of your rib cage. That's one. Control the lower, don't drop the weight down. Two. Three, and breathe. Engaging the core. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Squeeze that shoulder blade in every time. Nine. 10, level one, stop here and rest. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, level two, stop. 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, 20. Okay, same thing on the other side. And I do wanna say, it's okay to do level two on one exercise, level one on another exercise. Listen to your body and build from wherever you are. Same thing on the other side, flat back, core engaged, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze that shoulder blade, seven, eight, 
nine, ten, level one rest, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, level two rest, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, last one, twenty. Good job. Okay, next exercise, we're going to use the wall. So we're going to do a pelvic tilt wall sit. Oops. Okay, let me move that a little bit. Um, so for this one, main thing to focus on, you are not using your glutes to do this exercise. It is all coming from the core. This is a pregnancy safe core move. Great for your pelvic floor and your transverse abs. So to keep that midline of your abdomen together instead of separating. But even if you're not pregnant, that means tighter, smaller waist. So knees bent to 90. Hands can go on your belly to make sure you're activating the right muscles. And try and keep the glute muscles soft instead of squeezing. So we're going to use the belly muscles to tilt the pelvis and hip bones up and away from the wall. Curl them toward your rib cage. That's one. Two. And you should feel all these muscles tighten and pull in. Three. Four. Check that your glutes are soft. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Level one can rest. Eleven. We have a visitor. Twelve. Thirteen. 14, 15, level two can rest. 16, 17, 18, 19, use those muscles. 20, all done. But I promise, it's like a hug for your baby. You're not hurting it. <laughs> Catch your breath. I'm gonna take a sip of water before the next one. We're gonna do single leg deadlifts. <laughs> of course, the it's right where I wanna stand. So I'm gonna just slide him down just a couple inches. He won't mind. Okay, so you grab one or two dumbbells. I'm gonna start with two, but we'll see. I might switch down to one. And we're gonna start by extending our right leg. So. Same form as the Romanian deadlift that we started with. Flat back, flat back throughout. Right leg is going to extend, knee and hip face the ground, so don't let them turn out to the side. Keep them squared off. Ready? Right leg extends, and one, flat back is the most important thing. More than how far you can bend. Two, knee facing the ground. Great form, Nicole. Three, Core tight and engaged. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I feel the burn. <laughs> Nine. When we isolate one leg at a time. Ten. Level one rest. Gambit. <laughs> Right there. So halfway done for level three. Whoop. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move him. He's making me nervous. I don't want to accidentally drop the weight on him. As cute as he is. Okay, bud. How about right there? There you go. Most laid back kitty cat ever. Okay. So I'm on 11, I think, right? 11. 12, 13, 14, 15, level two can rest, 16, shake it out, 17, 
18. Let's do 19 and 20. Good job. Guess what? Same thing on the other side. I just need to rest my arms for a minute. <laughs> okay, so same exact form. Back flat, core engage, left leg extends this time. Here we go. And it's normally a better side on one balance than the other. <laughs> I said that backwards, but you know what I mean. Here we go. One. Make sure you're breathing. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Press through that heel to stand. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, level one, take a break. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, level two, take a break. 16, you can shake that leg out if you need to. 17, knee facing the ground. 18, 19, last one. 20, Ooh. I have to redo that one. <laughs> Almost there, good form is imperative, 20. Okay. Next we have plie squats. So one week for this one. Toes turn out to either corner of the room. Um, for this one, let me show you four folks. So I'm gonna turn sideways. You're not doing a booty pop. <laughs> so toes turn out. What we want to see is your tailbone tucking and pointing to the floor. So knees keep pressing out, tailbone tuck. So this should get flat, we don't want this this. And that means you're engaging your abdominals, tucking it in, knees press out instead of in the whole time. Okay, here we go. Weight up your shoulders, toes turned out, nice and wide, and lower. To parallel or as low as you comfortably can, squeeze through that inner thighs and glutes as you stand, knees press out, tailbone tucks, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep breathing, nine, ten, level one, take a break. 11, pinch those glutes together, 12. Pretend you can squeeze the inner thighs to touch, 13, 14, 15, level two, take a break. 16, 17, 18, 19, last one, and squeeze, 20, good job. You get to sit down for the next one. I'm grabbing a lighter dumbbell because it's an arm exercise. And we're gonna start with a right arm. So, sit, nice and tall, back is straight, elbow, tuck to your side, bring it in. Um, Wrist is gonna stay in a straight line throughout. And we're gonna start palm up toward the ceiling. So curl and press. We're gonna to turn to neutral, 
Press to the ceiling, shoulder stays away from your ear. Lower, controlling it, turn and down. That's one. Two, and again, control both up and down. That's how you get your strength. Three. Four. Five. Six. I hope you guys are as sweaty as I am. <laughs> Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Level one, take a break. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. I really feel the burn. Fifteen. Level two, take a break. If you can keep going, go for it. Those last two are really hard. You're right on pace. Sixteen. <laughs> I want to do any extra. Seventeen. <laughs> Well, you get bonus points if you do extra. 18. 19, last one. 20. Same thing on the other side. Shake that arm out. Oh, my shoulder feels it. <laughs> okay, so same form. On the curl, elbow stays tucked at your side. Wrist is neutral. One. And remember, keep the shoulder away from your ear. That was three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, level one, rest. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen, and you can change the pace if you need to. Don't be afraid to hit pause or fast forward me. <laughs> I think that was fourteen. <laughs> 15, level two, rest. 16. 17. 18. 19, last one. 20. Guess what guys, we're in the last exercise. Okay, no weights for this one. You get to choose. You can do a regular push-up or an incline push-up. We're going to be doing incline push-ups. Nicole's going to show you the wall variation. I'm going to show you using a bench or a chair. The lower you are to the ground, the more challenging it is going to be. But the focus is lat back throughout. So we don't want to see this. We want to see this. Oh, I should have counted that as one. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to get started. Nicole on the wall, hands wide or shoulder distance apart, and here we go. One, two, three, breathe, core engaged, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Level one, take a break. I need a break. <laughs> so I'm, I am going to keep going for more. But I just need to shake it out for a second. I'm feeling all those curl and presses. <sighs> okay. Eleven. Twelve. 
14, 15, level two, take a break. Melissa, take a break. <laughs> Five more to go through her level three, and then we're done. If you are done now, take a sip of water if you need it. Okay, last five. 16, 17, 18, core engaged. 19, last one. Oh, 20. <laughs> Yay! Good job. How do you feel, Nicole? I feel stronger. <laughs> yeah. Me too. I definitely feel my arms. <laughs> Um, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the workout. Like I said, great if you are not pregnant, great if you are pregnant. <laughs> hopefully you challenge yourself either way. As always, whew, the breakdown will be on my website, benderfitness.com, with over 700 other free home workouts, 30-day challenges, 12-week programs, 10-week programs, recipes, and tips for healthy living. So I will see you guys there. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>